Hi friends, uh, in today's tutorial we'll learn how to rename an event handler in Visual Studio. So let's start. So you can see I've pulled up a sample program for this purpose and all it does is takes uh, two inputs from users and uh, numbers and adds them. So renaming the control is quite straightforward. So the first step is to select the control in the designer view. So uh, in this case, we'll select the add button and try to rename it and then go to the properties panel and change the name property of the event handler by simply deleting the old name and replacing it with the new. But uh, just keep one thing in mind that do not change the text property because that just uh, displays whatever content you have written here uh, onto the form. But rather scroll down to the name property it should be somewhere down here under the design tab and just delete the existing name and for example let's change it to some button hit enter so now if you switch to the code view you'll see that the event handler associ associated with the control has actually not changed. This in fact does not cause an error since it is internally referenced to a new name. So to prove that, let's just save the program and run it. So you see if I add two numbers, it's still giving me the correct result. But it is regarded as a poor programming practice to allow your event handlers to be named with a name that does not match to the control associated with it. So let's update that. Uh, so your natural inclination would be to simply uh, manually edit the name to match the new control. But unfortunately this won't work and if you attempt to do this uh, you will run into an error. So the correct way to do this is select the control which you want to rename. Uh, right click on it and you'll get a menu which will have an item called rename. Go there, click on it, and you'll get a pop-up which says that rename will update uh, two references in two files. So this is what we were missing when we were trying to manually edit it. We edited, we would have edited it here, but uh, not in the other file, and that conflict would have caused the error. So once this pop-up is open, you see that your event handler is highlighted. Now just place your cursor where you want to make a change, and since we changed it to some button that is what we'll do and hit apply so now you can save your form programmatically and according to conventions you see that the name of the event handler and the name in the code is same and if you run the program now let's try and see you'll get the same result so uh, this is how you correctly rename an event handler in an event when you want to do so. Thank you.